There could be some new rules banning alcohol at the Kaneohe Sandbar, but that's not the only change being proposed. Boaters across the state may also have to take a safety class before operating their vessels. Alcohol-fueled parties at the sandbar may be a thing of the past. There is definitely an issue out at Ahualaka. It's a problem. And it escalated to the point where a person unfortunately lost their life in the parking lot as a result of activities that took place out there. State officials will submit a proposal to ban alcohol at the sandbar on Memorial Day, July 4th, and Labor Day. If those holidays fall on weekends, the ban would be in effect the entire holiday weekend. <laughs> So I'm sure there'll be people that will show up that still do not want to be told that they can't have unopened alcohol in their vessels. The boating division of the Department of Land and Natural Resources will also ask the land board to approve a new requirement for boaters to take a safety class or to pass a test in order to operate a recreational vessel. As it stands now in the state of Hawaii, you need no form of formal training, no or anything to operate a vessel. But that rule doesn't sit well with some boaters. Veteran boaters that have been boating for a long time uh, think that it's kind of a, a drag that they would have to do that if they were safe and not abusing their ability to operate a vessel. For those people that already know how to operate a boat, it should be, not, should be a slam dunk to go get it. It's, it's no charge. Get the certificate, and it's good for life. I think it's a good thing. Um, keeps everybody safe. You know, uh, also, I think we'll have a lot less problems out there on the ocean. Commercial boaters who have licenses will be exempt from the requirement. And next Friday morning, the public can testify in favor or against the recommendation at the board meeting. The alcohol ban at the sandbar could take effect as early as this Labor Day weekend.